Hello world and welcome to a quick little video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your Rumble live streams from this to this. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Rumble live streams from capping out at 1080p to going all the way up to 4K. Now I haven't said anything about it yet, but for those of you who watch me on YouTube, I've started live streaming almost every day over on Rumble. I'm starting to upload some videos here and there as well. I'm not done with YouTube, but I'm mainly live streaming over on Rumble. So for those of you who enjoy watching my live streams over on YouTube or Twitch, just letting you know, now you can come hang out almost every day over on my Rumble channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and check the link in the description, head over to my Rumble channel, hit that follow button, and I'll see you in chat. Now, for those of you who are like me, who want to try out Rumble and started live streaming and had all your settings in OBS set to 1440p, and it was still only outputting to 1080, here's how you actually end up doing it. Now, before we get too far into it, I do want to let you know that currently, I don't know if it'll stay this way, but currently, if you want to achieve 1440 or up to 4K live streaming on Rumble, you will have to pay. Again, maybe as Rumble grows, that will end up changing and that just won't be the thing anymore. But as of right now, Rumble is still, you know, obviously not as big as YouTube or Twitch and stuff like that. So right now you kind of have to pay for a few things. So if you feel that getting 1440 or 4K live streams is worth paying money for, then here's how you do it. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get Rumble Premium. Now, for those of you who don't know what Rumble Premium is, it gives a bit of a breakdown here. Basically, when you get it, you will no longer get ads when you're watching videos or live streams on Rumble, which is always nice. This says you gain access to upcoming exclusive premium content. I don't really know what all that means. I would say that maybe this live streaming feature is qualified under that. But this next one says that you'll get a verified badge and other benefits, including extended creator tools. So either one of these this feature could be part of that, but I would say it actually sounds a bit more like this one. Now, for those of you who have never done anything on Rumble, there are a few things you should also know. Because Rumble is still in the process of growing, you actually have a limit on the file size that you can upload for your videos and live streams. Now, if you don't have premium, the largest video file that you can upload to your channel is 15 gigs. And I believe for your live streams, it caps out at 30 gigs. But again, if you get Rumble Premium, those sizes double. So now you can upload videos that are 30 gigs instead of 15, and your live streams can go up to 60 gigs instead of 30, which means that you can stream at a higher quality for longer than you could if you have the free account. Now, something to remember is that YouTube pretty much had the same thing when they first started out as well. Not in terms of having to pay for increasing file size, but they did have file size limits. I don't know if they still do now, but I've uploaded videos that were over 60 gigs on YouTube and I've never had an issue before. So I don't know if YouTube really has that file size limit anymore, but they did used to. So I would assume that as Rumble grows and once it gets large enough, it will eventually make it to where that's just no longer a thing and you maybe won't even have to pay for these features anymore. I don't know, but I just wanted to give you guys that information. Now, the price of premium is either going to be $10 a month or $100 a year. And obviously, I'm going to recommend the yearly one, one because you get a whole year. And also, you only have to pay that once a year instead of seeing that $10 leave your account every single month. And everyone knows how much we all hate subscriptions these days. So it's a lot nicer and more palatable to just have one payment go out once a year instead of one payment go out every month. So I'm just going to assume that if if you're still watching then that means you're getting rumble premium so now i'm going to show you how to get your stream set up to get those higher qualities so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your profile icon click on that and then go down to live streaming and then on the left panel here you will notice a static stream key beta click on that and when you first get on this page you won't have this little tab that i have here i've already created this so you won't have this but you will have these two buttons here and you'll see the create new key and create low latency key beta this is the key that you want to create so you'll click on that and that will generate this tab and you can name the template and whatever you want here but you'll notice underneath it in red, it will say low latency experimental. So that means that this is this is the key for what you're wanting. And this is the server URL that you're gonna use that won't change. Now, because this says beta and experimental, I've personally noticed some issues with 
setting things up and getting it to work right. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I end up doing it. Hopefully this will kind of get fixed in the future. And if you guys know of a better method to do this as well, please leave it in the comments. Now, if you're new to Rumble and you haven't live streamed on it before, there's a couple methods that you can do normally, and I'm gonna show one of them that I don't think works currently when you get this experimental key. When you go to hit live, you've got two options. You've got go live here or Rumble Studio. If you are a Rumble Studio user, as far as I know, this low latency key will not work. Now again, if anyone who's watching this knows of a way to actually make this work, please leave it in the comments and let me know. But as of all of my testing and everything so far, I can't get this to work in studio. But I'll show you how this would work normally. So you'd click on Rumble Studio. It says that I have a stream here set up, even though I don't, I don't, don't really know how to get rid of this, but let's just say we're setting up a new stream and you go over to Manage Participants and you go to Ingresses and you create a new one and you choose RTMP and you can type in your streaming stuff. I just put an OBS there and it will create this code here. It'll create the server and the stream key. These are the things that you would normally copy into OBS in order to stream, but these are not the experimental keys. So no matter what settings you have in your OBS, if you have 1440 or 4K selected, it won't matter once you apply these to your OBS, it will only cap your stream out at 1080p. So again, if there is a way to get the low latency through Rumble Studio, please let me know because I enjoy Rumble Studio, but again, obviously it's just, I don't think it's, I don't think that's been implemented yet. So what I've ended up having to do I just click go live and you'll see that I have all these templates here. You probably don't have to deal with this. I'm like I said, I'm still brand new to Rumble, so I <laughs> I'm still trying to figure things out. So I kind of ended up just making templates accidentally, but we'll go through this and just kind of give an example. So you guys won't have anything here if you're new, but you can click create new live stream and you can enter in whatever title and everything you want here. You can choose the category. I'm going to choose gaming here i'll just say indiana jones because that's what i'm currently doing on my live stream so if you like the new indiana jones game or you like my content over on youtube then head down to the description check out my rumble page hit that follow button and come hang out in the stream say hi i'd love to see you guys over there then i always choose the higher stream quality source pass through less latency no dvr choose the thumbnail for whatever you want you can put your tags in there if you want make sure that you're streaming as the correct channel i'm just going to choose private just for the sake of this but obviously you would choose whatever you need to do here you can make the recording private after the stream ends i like to keep those vods up so that people can go and watch afterwards if they weren't able to watch the stream and then you can choose either later or right now we'll just do right now i'll hit next and then you've got the two licensing things here this one's basically just saying hey you're just streaming on Rumble and this one is not monetized and everything. I'm just going to choose Rumble only. These two things, I don't think you have to enter anything in for. I kind of think that these are more if you're doing like IRL streaming. That's kind of what I am getting from this, but I, I don't fully know. Anyways, you'll click on these two checkboxes here and hit submit. And now this page will come up and you'll see view live stream and get streamer configuration. What I do because again, I think I'm noticing some bugs every once in a while. If I were to just click on either of these, for some reason, things start having issues. So what I end up doing is I just right click on the streamer configuration and hit open a new tab. And that brings us here. Now you'll see two things. One, you'll see the, the stream that it's referencing that you're getting ready to do. And it'll say dynamic stream key recommended or low latency beta. This is the one that you want. Do not do this one. This is the one that you want to do. So again, you have the streamer URL and the stream key. So what we'll do is we'll copy the server URL. We'll bring OBS over. Make sure that when you're selecting your servers, just hit custom. And then you can paste the server URL in there and then copy the stream key. Again, make sure it's the low latency one and paste that in there. And then you hit OK. And then when you go back to the live streaming tab here, I always just right click and open a new tab as well. And that way I've got the live stream here and I have that on my other monitor so that I can watch and see and make sure that the stream is actually behaving well. If I see any like dropped frames or if my camera for some reason an OBS freezes, which it's been doing lately, if I'm on the wrong screen or something, or if an overlay or my camera's in the way of something, I can just see that and then 
make the adjustments I need so that I don't have the preview pane open on OBS. Now, since we're talking about OBS, I'll just go ahead and show you the settings that I use for when I stream. A quick disclaimer though, I use a single PC setup, so I have a very powerful PC in order to allow me to do that. I have an i9-13900K CPU, I have an RTX 4090 graphics card, and I have 32 gigs of RAM. So again, if you have any components that are close to those specs, or if you have AMD, if, if you're wondering AMD stuff, I don't know anything about that. I don't know what the settings would be. So some of these settings may be too much for your systems to handle, but if you have the same specs as I do or something close to it, maybe this will work. But if we go to the output tab, the first thing you want to do is you set your output mode to advanced. And under the streaming tab, I have my audio encoder to FFmpeg AAC. I have my video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H.264. Obviously, I don't have my rescale output here. For my encoding settings, I have my rate control at CBR for constant bitrate. I have my bitrate set to 10,000. My keyframe intervals is at zero. My preset is at P7 slowest for best quality. My tuning is at high quality. My multi-pass mode is at two passes full resolution. Profile is high. Look ahead is ticked off. Psycho visual tuning is ticked on. GPU is zero because I only have one and max B frames is two. Now there's a few things that I want to talk about right here. One, when I got everything working for my 1440 streams, I decided to just go above and beyond and change my bit rate to 15,000. Before I was doing 1440 streams, when people would come into the channel, they would usually stay and they would chat and everything. But I noticed after I increased my quality, people would come in but then they would leave in like 10 seconds. And that was just constant. Like I was just not retaining anyone. And yesterday in the middle of the stream, I was like, you know what? I have a sneaking suspicion that I might be breaking people's computers when they come to my stream. So I went ahead and changed the bit rate from 15,000 down to 10,000 and the stream still looked great. And once people started coming into the stream again, they started staying again. So I think that my bit rate was just too high for people so that when they went to watch the 1440, it was just buffering constantly. So, and again, once I changed it down to 10,000, people started staying and hanging out again and it was, it was like normal. So what I would recommend is only doing a maximum of 10,000 bit rate. That's just been my experience so far. I wasn't dropping frames or anything. Everything was great on my end, but I just think it was too much for people to watch. Kind of like how Twitch used to be and they didn't let you choose different quality options. If you were streaming at a higher quality, that's what you were stuck with. And then people would just leave the streams because some people don't have fast enough internet to watch the highest quality. So now under the audio tab, I also have all of my audio bit rates at 192. Again, for some reason, I just can't find trustworthy documentation that talks about rumble in their audio bit rate and stuff. So if anyone who's watching this knows a lot more about rumble than I do, and if you know that this needs to be changed, please let me know. But right now this is what I have it at and everything is great. So when you're live streaming, you want to make sure that you're not making OBS do twice or more as much work than it actually needs to do. So when you're going to stream, you want to make sure that when you're in the video tab, your base canvas is set to what your monitor resolution is. So mine is 1440p, so I have it set to 1440p. But if yours is at 4K or 1080, then you need to set this to match your monitor's resolution. Now here is where a lot of people will say that this is where you want to put your like your rescaling resolution. So if you're playing at 4K, but you want to output to 1440, people will say to do it here. I recommend against that. I recommend that you have your output set to the same resolution as your monitor here. And then you go back to your output tab and under the streaming tab, the rescale output, this is where you want to have your rescale set. But if I'm wrong or someone knows more than I do, you can leave it in the comments and help people out if they got questions there. But otherwise, there you go. That's how you live stream on Rumble up to 4K quality. And those are the best settings that I've found personally for all of my live streaming. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It's greatly appreciated and it helps out the channel very much. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to come hang out in the live streams, check the link in the description below. Head over to my Rumble channel and hit the follow button over there as well. Like I said, I try to stream every day. And just yesterday I had a 10 hour stream. So, so thanks again everyone so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video or live stream.
Have a good one.